The next thing to work on is this page. We've been able to edit the slider from the slider revolution. There are other sections of this page like the about us, the services sections and some other ones that we can edit right on the home page. And there are others that we can edit from the dashboard and the changes will be reflected on the home page. So let's get in the way. The next section is the about us section. We realize that if we hover over this text, there is nothing that will help us to be able to edit this. So what do we do? We have to enable the page builder. So we click on edit with WP Bakery page builder that is located up here. Now once you've logged in, you should be able to see edit with WP Bakery page builder up here. If you don't log in, you will not see this. So once you've logged in and you've opened the dashboard on one tab, then you'll be able to access this particular feature when you open your website. So we can do it directly here. The other option is to access our admin dashboard and go to the pages, then we select the home page and click on edit with WP Bakery page builders. So let's see how that one to works. So slash WP admin. Then we go to pages. In this case, we are looking for the home page. You realize that we have a total of 57 pages, but only one third of them are showing. So if you want to access all the pages on the same area here, then we go to top here, screen options, and increase the number of items that can be displayed on this page. So let's say 100. Click on apply. Then we can now have access to all our pages right here. So let's go back to the page. What I was talking about is that you can edit the page with the page builder called WP Bakery Page Builder. And you can access it from the front end here, top here, when you visit your home page after you have logged in. Or alternatively, you go to pages and as you hover over the pages here, you see edit with WP Bakery Page Builder. If you click on that, you will see that the page builder will now be active. So let's move downwards to continue with the editing. So you simply move the mouse over the content and you see the editing options that will enable you to modify the content. So as you hover over it, you see the pencil tool, which when you click on that will enable you to edit that particular section. Before we go into the editing of the content here, let's familiarize ourselves with the use of the WP Bakery Page Builder, how it is used to build pages, to modify existing pages and all that. Starting from the top here, this helps you to add a new element. So the page builder comes in with a whole lot of elements that you can use to build your website. Let's explore these elements. We are not going to add them, we are just exploring to see the possibilities and what is available in this particular page builder that can be used if you want to do so. These are various elements and these are the categories. So in terms of content, these are what you can use. A contact form where people can submit their details and a contact message to you. A row, a text block, section, icons, image gallery, progress bars, pie charts, call to action buttons. In fact, a whole lot of elements that you can use. This is another category, social icons. If you want to add Facebook like and a whole lot of these icons, you can add them. In terms of the structure, we have these ones. And these are widgets that you can add to the website and other ones are equally here. You can simply click on an element, then it will be inserted into the page for you to use it. This particular button is used to undo the changes that has been done. Just as we know in word processing, if we make some changes and we don't want the changes to take effect, then we click on undo. The same thing will be applied here. And this is redo, just an opposite function. This is page settings. Helps you to be able to rename your page title, then also to add custom CSS settings. You may not want to use this feature now, and you will still be okay with that. The next one here is the responsive view or responsive preview of your website. As said earlier, as you are making the website, you have to ensure that it will be accessible by different device sizes, being it desktop, tablet, mobile, or any screen size. So it is a deliberate effort you have to put to do this so that it can be accessed beautifully and conveniently on all device types. 
So this is the desktop version. This is landscape mode of a tablet. This one is a portrait mode of a tablet. And this is a smartphone landscape mode. Then smartphone portrait mode. The theme and WordPress itself helps you to be able to make websites that are very responsive. So you don't have to worry so much about that. So everything you are doing here is under the desktop mode. So you can access the other modes and see how they are appearing as you work on your content. So this is the tablet landscape mode. This is how it will appear. The next one is the tablet portrait mode. It has its own appearance, the menu bar here. Now smartphone landscape mode has its own appearance and you see that the contents are so fitting to the screen size of the device that is displaying here and everything is okay. The last one is the smartphone portrait mode, the smallest among the device sizes. Yeah, so we see that everything is okay. As said earlier, theme developers take measures to ensure that their themes are responsive. So you may not have to worry so much about that. So let's go back to our desktop mode and continue with our modification. So back to the About Us section. So the key is to know how to be able to use the page builder so that you can use it to edit every content that is here. So here is a row, the whole section is a row and each side or each section of this is a column. So if you make changes to this row, it affects the whole area from left to right. So for instance, having clicked on a row section, you see this one is there to help you edit the row. This one helps you to change the layout of the row. Now the layout of this row is that it should display two columns. If you click on this change layout, then you'll be able to select the number of columns that you display. Then of course, you'll be able to add various elements to fit in those columns to make up the row. This one helps you to add a new column to the row. So you have two columns here, you can add one so that it becomes three and in that order. This helps you to clone the row or to copy the entire row. So let's explore that feature and click on this you see WP Bakery Builder working here. So let's scroll down to see the effects. So you see that we've been able to clone the whole row. So you have the same row duplicated. Then this helps you to delete the entire row. So if you click on this row deleted, as you can see here. Let's continue with the editing. Now this is the column area. It helps you to edit the column. So you have two columns here. And this is the column settings for this one. This one too has its own settings. So this helps you to be able to make some changes. So ensure that you have read through well to see what the impact of what you are doing will have on the work here. So use video background. Would you want to use a video background? If you check it, then you can upload a video to use as a background. Otherwise, you can just leave it as such. But if you should click on yes and you save changes, for instance, there is a default video that you would want to use as background or otherwise you can go to YouTube and copy an existing videos link and paste it here to use it. But we don't want to use a video for this particular row or column. So we uncheck this box and save our changes. We have design options that helps you to be able to add margins to the rows and the columns here. If we want the margin here, it is okay. The columns, the pattern and everything is okay. So we would leave this just as it is. Responsive options to everything here is okay. Unless, of course, we want to hide some elements or sections on some device types. So let's say that you want this whole section to not appear on mobile or smartphone. So we see the option here, hide on device. So you know that this one is a small device, a very small device. And this is a medium one. So we choose which device size that we want, the screen size, and select whether we want to make it hidden or appear. We don't want to do any of those, so we simply ignore that. So back to editing the content. Once again, you move your mouse over the content you want to modify and once you click on the pencil tool, you'll be able to edit it. So 
So let's start from this about us. So we click on this section, the heading. Whatever is here would appear here for you to make the changes to. So this about us here is the one that you can see on the left hand side here. And this whole statement is the one that we can see here. So once we make the changes here, the modification will be applied to those here. So you can easily change the content and then click on save changes and it will be modified accordingly. Now as you do this and you are okay with the changes you have made, you've just made the changes reflect on a page builder. But until you click on update up here, it has not been made live. So you can click on update here at regular intervals to save the work that you are doing.